Hey, Pastor Ray here. Thanks for watching Weekly Word. We appreciate you tuning in. Hope that you'll share it with somebody who may need a word of encouragement and strength in their life. All of us in our lives go through times of suffering and pain. Maybe it's something happening to us, uh, some kind of chronic pain, some kind of chronic struggle in our lives. Maybe it has to do with grief in our life and we're grieving the loss of something or loss of someone. All of us at some point go through suffering and pain. And we have others that are around us that are going through it as well. It's just part of the human experience. It's one of the reasons why I think the writer in Hebrews tells us that Jesus Christ, he calls him our great high priest, is the one that intercedes for us with God the Father and that he is a, a high priest that sympathizes with us because he too knows what it's like to live on this earth and to experience difficulty, suffering, pain, betrayal, even to the point of crucifixion. So he knows, and so he sympathizes with us, and he tells us in John chapter 14 that he is gonna send his spirit when he left that he might be with us and might be in us to comfort us, to comfort us when we go through difficulties and when we go through pain. You know, I've learned over the years that God never wastes our pain. He never wastes a time of suffering, difficulties in our lives. Paul says something really interesting in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4. He talks about what he's going through, his suffering, and he said he realizes that God comforts us and that we then have the opportunity to, what I would say, recycle our pain and use the comfort that God has given us through Christ Jesus, his spirit in us, so that we might, in turn, comfort somebody else. So it's kind of like this. Either you're in the process of being comforted by God, or you're in the process of giving that comfort that you receive from him to somebody else. Maybe it's time to open our eyes around us. Life may be good for us. We may not be going through any difficulty right now. We may be free of pain and relatively free of any kind of suffering. But I can assure you, there are people all around you that are living the human experience of pain and suffering. An old preacher named Dr. Jowett said this. He said, God does not comfort us to make us comfortable, but he comforts us to make us comforters. Think about that. God does not comfort us to make us comfortable, but he comforts us to make us comforters. Find somebody that you might comfort in your life today. May God bless you. We'll see you next week.